Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the Farm Vlog today. Today we're going to be working with the tractor and the seed drill. This is a no-till seed drill made by Hay Buster and we're going to be busting some hay. So we're going to go out in all these bare spots throughout the field and all the land down here that we just had cleared and you can see it's a whole lot of land. So where we've got it cleared all down through there, we're going to seed this land, okay? So we've got fescue, ryegrass, and rye grain and that's what we're going to be putting in here and also medium ladino clover so come along on the farm vlog today we're going to have a little bit of fun loading up the hopper we'll show you how it all works and we'll get out here and we'll drill some grain we'll drill some grass seed and get this thing started all right let's have some fun Woo! Guys, I put this part in the vlog. I was going to cut it out, but I just wanted you to see what a struggle it is sometimes just to hook up a piece of equipment. And I sped it up right here, but it took me nearly 10 minutes just to put this pin in. And you can see what a struggle. If you're not strong, you really can't do this kind of stuff. So I get a lot of flack for having a belly, but man, you got to be a strong guy to handle this kind of stuff. It's, uh, it's big equipment, really hard. All right, guys, this is called the Hay Buster, okay? There are three hoppers on this Hay Buster. We're going to take you up top and show you that here in just a second. But we're going to walk around first, and we'll get it hooked to the tractor, okay? I'll show you what we have to do. Here we are at the back of the seed drill here, okay? These tubes that you're seeing down here is what the seed drops down into, okay? And we'll show you how all the adjustments work. This is the hydraulic setup. And these two hydraulic lines right here go straight over here. I have some zip ties. Uh, We'll set these zip ties down. They go right over here into our rear secondary hydraulics, okay? So we'll give them a little wipe down. It's good to have gloves for this. We'll pop our secondary hydraulics loose. Right there. Okay, now here are our hydraulics. We don't want our secondaries. This is for the front, the grapple on the front of the tractor. We don't want them flopping around here. So that's why we have the zip ties. So we'll zip tie these guys up. To where they'll be in a good safe place out of the way and they won't get pinched ask me how i learned this mm. huh? okay all right guys so here are our hydraulic lines and we'll hook those into our rear secondary remotes and all you do is just push them into place and they lock right in just like this okay and they're locked into place now we need to take a look at our hydraulic lines now our hydraulic line cannot just be flopping around all over everywhere, but we see they've already put some rope on here and the rope is kind of loose. So we got to know this is what happens when they flop around everywhere. They'll get pinched right inside there. So we've got to find a way to support these. And once again, that's why we need our zip ties. So what I learned last time is you got to take care of your hydraulic line. So we'll go down here with our zip tie and we'll just zip tie this guy right up here to our three point hitch thing. I forgot what that's called. Guys, tell me what that thing's called. I forgot what it was, what it's called. I know everybody knows what it is. So now you can see our hydraulic lines are free floating, but they're not going to get into anything down here. Okay. Next thing, we'll show you how to adjust the hoppers. Okay. So there's a step here, a step here, then you get up on this rail right here. Okay. I'm tall enough that I can reach up here, flip the lid up. When you flip the lid, you've got a guide right here that tells you what you're running and tells you what settings to put it on. So we put it on setting number eight for fescue and that puts 23. You see the 23? That's 23 pounds per acre. And then we have some settings for the spring in the rear and a few more settings to set our depth for the drill. And this is the drill part, the little blades that you see down there. So we'll go right over here and there's a little hand crank. There's a little crank and there's a little dial right here. And we want to set it on eight by cranking our little crank just like that so here we go cranking it cranking it right there to the eight that's a little above the eight yeah there we go looks good now we'll be putting down some rye grain right there's the rye grain and we want to put the rye grain down we're going to put it on the number five at 15 okay and that puts 15 pounds to the acre 
we want to put the rye grain and the rye grass seed down because it's an annual and it's going to come up really really fast now we're on a hillside right here and this hillside will wash so we want something that's going to hit quick okay hitting quick means it's going to grow it's going to grow quick so it's going to sprout a root within a day a day day and a half that rye grain will and then the rye grass will follow about four days later and then the fescue will follow about seven to nine to 12 days later. So we'll get on our crank right here and we'll start cranking until this guy gets on the five, okay? It's set wide open on 14 right now. So actually something's crunching in there. Oh, looks like we still got some wheat down in here. So that being said, we'll find the setting for wheat and we'll set it on what we want the wheat to be at. Now, I was told when I got this thing that it had some wheat in it. Did I want the wheat taken out? And I said, no, no, we'll just drill it down in too. So we'll take the wheat and we'll run around and we'll drill with the wheat just a little bit on some top edges and some really like steep spots. Now the setting for wheat, and we want to dump it out as fast as we can. We'll probably put the wheat at, yeah, let's just, dump it we'll put it up 12 okay we're gonna get rid of that wheat now the rear hopper is a little bit different it's for clover seed if you look up in there that's for a smaller seed and i'll show you so the seeds are caught by this little gear right here and here's the adjuster you slide that left to right and the gear slides left to right so that's how much it's open however much gear is exposed inside of this tells you how much seed you're going to have down now we're going to set it we're going to take it all the way to zero and we're just going to barely open it to one right there is the one and it's a dial right there okay and we tighten up the little wing nut okay now there's another one we repeat this process right there there's another one on the other side so this is two separate compartments i don't know how that rat got there but that's gross let's talk about the undercarriage let's talk about what we have here okay so this wheel helps to guide this wheel right here rolls along the ground and turns a shaft and that shaft goes up through here and turns everything that's moving in this machine and it also turns an hour meter so right there is well it's not an hour meter it's an acre meter so right there it'll tell you 98 revs per acre pretty cool and all these little chains and doodads i'm not going to go into total detail but when it's moving it's moving everything on here is moving these tubes are what the seeds fall through and they fall down through these tubes and they fall down through these tubes it's pretty cool this whole thing has a suspension set up so it goes up and down and follows the contour of the land so you take these blades right here and they're rubbing each other they're spinning freely they're rubbing each other and on the back side they're open we'll take you around and show you that but they open up the land they drop the seed in and then this little wheel right here comes in and mashes it down so that's a no-till drill and there's the back side okay that's what you see on the back side so it opens the soil drops the seed and then this little wheel presses it down okay so the next step here is we're going to hop up and we're going to start dumping grass seed in first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up this platform right here with grass seed so let's get busy doing that All right, this is our Kentucky 32 fescue. It's an end of fight free fescue for cattle. Pretty cool. Now we're gonna go up here on the platform and dump in our seed. All right, up on the platform, get our fescue up here. And basically, we're gonna cut our bags open. Okay, so guys, this is Kentucky 32 Fescue. We're at about $85 a bag on this. There's how many bags? Four bags in there right now. That'll get us a good start. And we have one, two, three, four, six, seven more bags that we're gonna put out, okay? This will all even out as we hit bumps and smooth out, okay? Pretty cool. Now the next hopper we're gonna use is gonna be our wheat hopper, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and burn through that wheat. We're gonna take a little bit, ride a little bit around here and get these spots that are in the middle of the field first and get that wheat out of there. We're also gonna load the clover hopper and I'll show you the clover hopper right here. So we'll close the wheat and here's the clover hopper. That's what it looks like inside. Pretty simple. We'll load the clover hopper up and get going with that. Now the clover costs $120 for a 50 pound bag. We're doing about 25 to 30 acres here. 
That'll totally cover that. You might be asking, hey, why is he putting clover in with his fescue? I'm putting clover in with my fescue for the first few years to get it established well. Clover fixes nitrogen to the soil, Fescue loves nitrogen. We're going to feed that grass seed and then we'll probably go over it with a herbicide to kill the broad leaf at some point. Maybe. We may go organic and we may not use herbicides at all. Now the reason that I'm putting the clover seed down is because of a man named Joel Salatin. He wrote a book called Salad Bar Beef. I'll post a link down below if you want to raise your cows on a salad bar. It's pretty cool. It's an interesting book to read. And I went up to Polyface Farm where Joel's farm is. If you've never heard of him, then I'm surprised you're on this channel. Really, really cool guy. Nice place. And what I noticed on his farm was lots of clover in the fields. The fields were beautiful and green. And I think the element that was making them beautiful and green was that clover fixing that nitrogen. And it's a little bit more difficult ugh, to get up here and put your seed in here for your clover, okay? And I'll show you the clover seed here in a minute. The ryegrass seed looks a whole lot like just grass. The rye grain is just a little bit smaller than wheat. Like, everybody knows what wheat looks like. Um, but the clover is totally, totally different. And this is what the clover looks like. It's little beads. So it's a little bit more cumbersome <laughs> to do the clover. You have to be real careful because these are separate hoppers. You have to make sure you get an even amount in each hopper, which we do not have. <laughs> but at least we tried. So it's a good idea to have a like a measuring cup or a glass or a, you know, a cup or something so you can even it out a little bit and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get to drilling, okay? See you on the tractor. Guys, be sure your butt is always in the seat when you're starting a tractor, okay? Contact. Okay guys, what you're gonna see here is this hydraulic cylinder going up, taking a little bit of tension off, okay? Now the tension is off. And we're going to pull these pins right here. Well, I thought the tension was off. We've got a lever on the back of the tractor that raises and lowers by controlling this cylinder right here. And we're going to raise it up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to pull this pin right here. Out comes the pin. This little red guy kind of sits out of the way. We'll put our pin back in here. Make sure it doesn't get gone. And then this whole cylinder will lower down to the ground. All right, I'm going to lower the cylinder down. Now what we just did was set these down on the ground and set that wheel in motion, that ATV looking tire. As that tire rolls, it'll start putting seed in the ground. Pretty cool. things that you need to know when you're going around a sharp turn with this thing you have to raise it up and then when you start going straight again you lower it back down so you're constantly raising and lowering and checking your hoppers I just checked to see if that wheat was gone it's not quite gone yet but probably another 15 minutes of drilling and it'll all be gone I'm gonna go breathe a little bit of dust have some fun so folks we got a lot of work ahead of us and we're gonna say bye from here I appreciate you please come on back and see us on the Stony Ridge farm click that like button subscribe to the channel please subscribe subscribe if I didn't say it already subscribe we need you here on the Stony Ridge farm come on back and see us sometime click the like button we'll see you next time here on the Stony Ridge farmer thanks guys see you next time land of the free Thank <laughs> you.